Um, j just to wrap up, uh, we thought it would be quite useful just to profile a couple of our students because in the end we can we can bang on about this and we can say yeah you know this is worth considering blah 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 but um it, it, it arguably uh, what students say about their experiences carries um um as much if not if not more more weight so i've just got a couple of slides the first one just profiles one of our students uh, sage um sage last year uh, BA on hospitality management. Sage so started off doing, of course, doing doing your level three program, and so she's progressed from level three to the foundation degree, and then um, achieved the BA honours hospitality management. And you know, um, Sage and 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 Paul um, will. Uh, um, yeah, I know Paul. Paul taught it, and Paul knows Sage throughout her learning journey um, has had some struggles. It's it's not been it's not been easy for her, but you know, she was really, really grown. She's developed, she's stuck at it. And we were absolutely thrilled that she got an internship working for the Compass Group. And it's actually something that um, uh, in the ancient team, one of my colleagues, uh, Louise Vicaria, has been involved in building a really good um, and this internship program largely is part of that. And it's uh, Compass who do all the catering, all the catering for Google, um, have a, um, a specific team, I think it's called Food Plus, that just are based in Google and they store the Google food apps. Uh, and she's got an internship working in Google as part of uh, the Compass Group. So we're absolutely thrilled. We won't go through it, but it's a lovely testimony about um, yeah, her experience of how she's been treated by, by the college, you know, the, from a level three through to uh, uh, HE. So, um, and you can see they're in full graduation uh, attire. Um, but Sage, we're really, really proud of her. Yeah, no, I, I, I certainly remember Sage coming in um and you're absolutely right she she didn't have an easy ride um and I'm, i won't go into any of her personal things and things like that but certainly to i mean i saw her go through essentially the the full time that she spent with us so i taught her when she was in the first year of the program and things like that and to see her um her grow not just um academically but what the, what impact it's had on her confidence all this sort of thing. I mean, she's a different woman now than, than when she joined us, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, a real success story. Uh, and, and the other students, uh, Kane Palmer, um, he started with this foundation degree in hospitality management and then progressed. He actually went on to do the BA. Uh, he's actually currently uh, finishing it off. So he's a, he's a year three student uh, doing the BA of business enterprise. Um, but a real culinary arts background. He's um, he's built a family restaurant um, with his fa with his family restaurant with his family <laughs> uh, in Malta, um, and he's been kind of going backwards and forwards doing his study and keeping things keeping plates uh, spinning in uh, in Malta. Um, and we were just delighted because um, he applied. We 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 um, encouraged him to apply for uh, a C. HME uh, Council, the Council for Hospitality Management Education. Every every year they have a um, a Young Guns Award, and basically it's hospitality students across the country that can apply um, to get this get this award. And it's really sh kind of showcasing, um, uh, yeah, mm, um, outstanding an outstanding hospitality management student in the UK. So all kinds of competitions from uh, from throughout the U UK, and he won it. He actually won it, and we were so so proud. And um, we, this this was in March 2020, just before kind of um, COVID happened. He went to um, the RAF club in Piccadilly, and he um, took part in the final assessment. I think they got it down to about um, four or five students, and he won it. So absolutely, absolutely and interestingly, he was saying to me that um, as part of the um, associated networking, he was talking to some um, uh, um, entrepreneurs, some, some, some hospitality entrepreneurs, and uh, it looks like he's got some seedbed funding for his next restaurants in Malta. So really, really, really interesting, interesting, interesting story. Uh, and a super student. 